In this morning's Money Watch, if you think your boss is crazy, you may be right. A new study suggests this tough economy has bad boss behavior skyrocketing. I work for the Antichrist. This year's popular black comedy, the bosses were horrible. I can crush you anytime I want. Driving their employees insane. <laughs> It's not so funny or far-fetched, according to a number of psychologists who say the person in the corner office could actually be psychotic. We've seen the crazy boss over and over on the big screen, like the icy magazine publisher so in The Devil Wears Prada. The details of your incompetence do not interest me. This means more to the office than you. And the cutthroat movie exec in Swimming with Sharks. You gotta be a man to do this job! In the book, Snakes in Suits, When Psychopaths Go to Work, psychologists found 4% of bosses in their samples of seven companies were psychopathic. That's four times the average in the general population. There are probably hundreds of thousands of heads of companies that are psychopaths. Psychologist Dr. Deborah Mendel specializes in workplace issues. They may backstab you, they may undermine your work, they may throw you under the bus, they are certainly not going to have your back. According to a recent article, The Corporate Psychopaths Theory of the Global Financial Crisis, a British academic suggests the blinding self-interest to make money outweighed any consideration of fairness or corporate or social responsibility, which led to the 2008 collapse of the entire financial system. I will tell you, you know, from my own experience working on Wall Street, there are a lot of people who certainly evidence uh, psychopathic behavior. I'm Former not, uh, Wall Street uh, executive William Cohen has written several books about the financial collapse. This is sort of the missing link of, of, of this. You know, there's now a clinical psychological reason for, for why this actually may have happened, because uh, the, the inmates were running the asylum. Do you know what Ed Gein said about women? Ed Gein, maitre d'a canal bar? No, serial killer. It may not be Hollywood's version of a Wall Street psychopath, but a scary thought nonetheless. Joining us is Bob Rosner. He runs the website Workplace 911, and he's the author of The Boss Survival Guide. Good morning. Good morning. So why is this happening? Well, let me give you some numbers first. Gallup did a study, and they found that 70% of the employees were disengaged. That means when you look at an office, 70% are working, 30% uh, are working, 70% have checked out. Bosses deserve a lot of the blame for that. But let me give you another example. The word discipline, one of the jobs of a boss is to discipline employees. Have you ever thought about the root source of the word discipline? It's to create a disciple. One of the problems is a lot of bosses think they're prison wardens, not trying to create disciples. So we have huge problems. Now, give work bosses some props for a second. It's tough to be a boss. When I speak to executives, I describe it like the Commodore Hotel. You remember going to yeah, the sure. Middle East. During the Bay Lebanon Civil War, the Commodore was the place journalists would stay. And when you check in, they'd ask shelling side or sniper side. That's what it's like to be a boss. But when you hear that 4% of bosses are psychopaths, what exactly is a psychopath and how do they all end up in charge? Well, a psychopath is basically a bully. They did a study a number of years ago. 50% of us have either been bullied or seen bullying in the workplace. And you know what? 72% of the bullies are bosses. Okay, so what's your worst boss story? Because you've been collecting them, right? Yes, yes. When I speak to executives, I always ask for worst boss stories. And this guy stood up in Los Angeles and he said, Carl was my worst boss. Carl asked his assistant to type her own termination letter. Oh. That's cold. But the problem is that a lot of people in this economy can't really move to another job if they don't like their boss. So what do you suggest people do if they've got a boss who's just kind of off the rails? Well, one of the things you can do, there's different types of bosses. For example, there was a boss, I got an email from a woman once who was in jail because the boss asked her to do something illegal. She followed orders and he covered his tracks. She ended up in jail. So there's evil bosses. But most of us have to deal with bosses who are incompetent. Mm -hmm. So one of the things I like to do if my boss is incompetent Every chance you get, join the United Way Committee. Nobody wants to do the United Way Committee. Do it because you can get exposure to other bosses within the company. So right. figure out ways to separate yourself from your boss and create your own the, credibility. This was fascinating. And I, <laughs> I'll need to talk to you about my boss a little bit later, but we're out of, out of time. But thanks for coming. Thanks, thanks uh, Bob Rosner, for being with us. Thank you. Thanks.